Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to win a backstage brawl match in WWE 2K24. I've done other videos on how to win an ambulance match, and I did another one on how to win a casket match. So I am here playing as Randy Orton right now, and I'm going to show you guys how to win a backstage brawl. So basically, the concept, for those who do not know, or like the concept of a backstage brawl is to basically KO your opponent. So... Literally, you just got to beat him up until your opponent is knocked out. You just got to continue to beat him up. And you got to make sure that, it, you know, your opponent is more beat up than you are. So I am trying to demonstrate this on Baron Corbin using Randy Orton. I'm trying to, like, put him through a table and stuff. You can use weapons, but ideally what you want to try to do is you want to get a finisher. And sometimes one finisher is enough to do it, but usually it's like... A finisher signature the finishers and signatures are obviously like the strongest moves in the game so those are obviously the ones that are going to be the ones that help with knocking out your opponent but yes you can use weapons also if you've adjusted your sliders to make things hurt more than others that'll make it a little bit easier like for example if you adjusted your sliders to make finishers hurt like way more you can get that knockout a lot quicker so right now, I'm just having a little bit of fun with the table. I don't even think the table really does it that much, but um, I could be wrong. I don't think the table really does it that much. Though I will put him through the table, just to maybe do it. Uh, unless he, like, reverses this. And I mean, Okay, so it's weird because I, can't, I couldn't put him on there for some reason. But okay, there we go. I just did it. So now, he's going to go through the table. Uh, I think I forgot how to do a signature in this game. Oh, he really just reversed my, um, me putting him through the table. Wow. He actually reversed a move that I did. I have all of the reversal prompts and stuff. I turned all that stuff off for the difficulty factor. And it actually, it's actually kind of hard. But, because I can't see when I can hit a signature or a finisher. So, I, I don't even know if Randy has a signature. I don't think he does. But yeah, so basically I'm just playing this match until we can actually get this to uh, to work. Uh, I mean, you could you could probably do it without a signature or a finisher, although I really honestly would recommend hitting both of those because that is really just kind of how you do it. Um, there are some people that, you know, obviously do not know how to do this. Obviously, this is designed for, I guess, kind of beginner players are just simply people who do not know how the backstage brawl concept works which is understandable like yeah i could see it it makes sense i really really should probably turn on the um reversal prompt indicators because this is actually becoming really hard for me to do all right i got it i got it i took advantage we're okay guys um and also, backstage brawls are a little bit weird because their signatures are different. Because if you have a weird-looking signature that you can only really perform in the ring, uh, it's not going to be the same signature. It's going to be like some sort of like DDT or something. It's going to be something weird. Um, but, again, I'm, I'm trying with Randy Orton here. <laughs> I'm really, really trying. And there's an RKO. And as you can see, he is not completely knocked out yet. So... It's not over. It's see, it actually so it could take more than one finisher. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I can actually put him through the table here and uh see if that actually works. So unless he reverses it again, which I he might have Nope. Suplex through the table. Did I get him? Nope. Still, suplex through the table does nothing, man. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, it actually can take a little bit of time. It, it'll take you a couple minutes. Um, it'll take you a couple minutes. If I hit my signature, I probably would have gotten him down by now. But I did not hit it. So, and there's Baron Corbin giving me a little reversal. Um, he's probably taking so much damage from me that he can probably... Um, oh, man. See... I, oh, see, that's that's a signature, I think. So <laughs> he might actually beat me here. Um, in, a, in in my video tutorial titled "How to Win," <laughs> how to win a backstage brawl. Uh, nah, he won't. Um, I got him. 
See, I just threw him into the thing. Basically, I could just keep going until it's over. So, basically, the match will just come to an abrupt end. And that is how you will know when it actually happens. You could do submissions. Just know that submissions won't actually make them... Get them knocked out. Actually, if you have a, like, submission as a finisher, it, it actually it can work. Um, I'm tempted to check Randy Orton's... Like, to see if he has, like, a signature or a finisher. I don't think... Yeah, and it, it just basically worked off a random move, and you just went automatically, and that is basically how you do it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.